Behold the lazy tegu. Oh my goodness. Now of course he's out. Even though we're going to do some work in his cage today. Hey guys, this is Raven with the Regal Reptile. And today I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. My hair's a mess because I am going into the lair of the beast. And he's a very cute beast and he's awake now. Uh, we're going to be doing some work in the Kelvin's cage with lighting and we're going to talk a little bit about the differences between mercury vapor bulbs and linear UV fluorescent light bulbs because I got in the mail the other day this four foot light fixture. I just want you to know how short I am. I am very short. Hi. So we're going to install this thing and we also got a light for it. However, the first light I ordered wasn't exactly what I expected. There's just a little bit of a size problem, if you know what I mean. I ended up buying a 22 inch instead of the 46 inch light bulb that I needed. But that's okay because Maxwell the Bearded Dragon and Galileo the Chameleon use 22 inch bulbs in their fixtures so when their lights need replacing I will just use this one and get another one instead. However, I ordered the correct light size and as you can see this makes a lot more sense. Your light bulbs are going to be a little bit smaller than your light fixtures so that your light bulbs can fit in them. So a 48 inch or four feet long light fixture will require a 46 inch light bulb to go in it. So let's get these guys out of their boxes. The first one we're gonna open is the light fixture. And I've already opened it part way, just for things to be a little more simple. not a reptile brand fixture. It is a, um, a plant bulb fixture, but it will work for what we need. All right. So this is literally a fixture. Well, there's the cord and, um, believe we'll have a fixture in here. Ah, here we go. So you can buy a fixture for reptiles, but this almost looks exactly like what you're going to get from like Arcadia, but you definitely want the Arcadia light bulbs. They're the best. Look how sleek this thing is. Nice. All right, so we're going to hang this and it already comes with a light. This is a plant light and we don't really need that plant light. So, in order to get these bulbs out of the slot, and this is a plant bulb, this bulb that comes with it will uh, grow plants in a, in a grow tent. But we need our um, UV light, which we ordered. So what we're gonna do is gently turn the bulb, just kind of, Turn it around until the little pegs come out of the out of the um, slots. And this is a plant bulb, which we may want to keep and use later. So we're going to actually put it in the box that the uh, the bulb comes in. Let's get all this blue stuff off of our reflector. All right, so we've peeled it off. Look how reflective this is. This is going to direct all of the UV light um, that would normally go up into the light because the light is round down into the enclosure. That's going to be great. So let's get our light bulb. So I got this box and I was a little worried because there's this huge dent in here like something squished it like this. And I was thinking, man, I really hope this light isn't broken because a four foot light too, this way more fragile than a um, 
you know, a two foot or a 22 inch light. So I was really, really worried. And then I pull out this superbly packaged light and there's no damage. It looks good. So we're gonna take this off. Okay. Oh, and even in here, this bulb is superbly secured. What in the world? I got this bulb from Reptile Basics, and I love Reptile Basics. They have the best shipping prices. I also order lights from a place called Light Your Reptiles online, and he is also incredibly good. There's limited places in the U.S. that carry Arcadia lights, and those two places I highly recommend online, Reptile Basics and Light Your Reptiles. All right, so we have these things out of the way. We have our light. Right. Here is our box that it's in, Arcadia box. There you go, you can see. So now we'll open the box and slide out our beautiful intact light bulb. Oh, that's good. Now, because we have another light, this one, and we really don't wanna get them mixed up, I'm gonna take this light and put it in the Arcadia box and uh, probably write on it with a permanent marker that this is indeed a plant bulb. But this will keep this light bulb safe when we're not using it, because we're not gonna be using this. All right, so this bulb is safe now. It won't break, and we'll put it away somewhere. This is our Arcadia bulb. This is our light fixture. And we are going to put the bulb in the fixture. One. All right, so I have plugged in the light and we are gonna see if it works. Get ready for some eye blinding. Oh yeah, UVB light. And now it is time to install it. Wow. So while our little Tegu is basking, I'm gonna try to take you into the Tegu tent without startling him too badly and show you what we're going to do. All right. So inside the tent, how we have these lights set up is with these long straps. And I have two straps just like them. And we're gonna use them just like this to um, hang up the lights, or the big long light. And we're probably gonna hang it horizontally right here on this beam here. The reason why this light is out is because that's the mercury vapor bulb and we're gonna take that out and replace it with this 80 watt floodlight. The one over here is a 100 watt floodlight. So what that'll do is make this spot a little warmer and he'll also have a whole lot of UVB that stretches the length of the cage. And I think I might make the UVB go between these two lights so we'll see what happens. Elvin is checking out the tripod. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. What is that? What is that, Kelvin? <laughs> what is it? What is it for? <laughs> so anyway, what I did was, for these two guys, there's two straps holding each one. And I had a problem because I only had two straps left. And so I hung them from this bar here. And there's only two, but I need the light to be down that far. So I found a solution. This is not actually attached all the way and I can slip the um, straps through underneath this bar. It's actually supposed to be made for chains, like uh, things that hold them to go underneath, but uh, the straps are really, really uh, thin, so we'll see how that works. 
And there we have it. So we're just going to tie this off really good and we're going to do that on the other side. Then hopefully this will be able to hang nice and secure. And there we have it. It is hanging. Both of them are hanging and they're tied nicely and they're between these two lights, which is great. So hopefully that'll work out really well. So now we just need to plug everything in and change out that other light. Hopefully it's not too hot. There we go. There we go. UV, two heat lights. Our little buddy's gonna be super happy. So what I need to do is keep a close eye on these lights and make sure that they don't overheat him. Yeah, but the UV light's good. It's stretching all the way across. There it is through the window. Looks really, really good. What do you think, Kelvin? While we hang out with Kelvin for a little bit, let's talk just a little bit about the differences between mercury vapor bulbs and the strip UVB lights. So mercury vapor bulbs are going to be placed in the normal light fixtures like this, which might make them feel a little cheaper at first. Um, they provide a good amount of UVB light, uh, and um, but it's inconsistent. So one day it might put out a lot of UV, and another day it might not put out as much. Um, also, it puts out a little bit of heat. So a lot of people use them kind of as a one, uh, two-in-one bulb. However, they don't put out too too much heat, and you can't dim them like you can dim a heat light or or a floodlight. Because if you dim it, you're going to affect the output of UVB radiation, which is what your animal needs. So, uh, if you have an animal that kind of lays under the basking light a lot, like a tegu, you might want to use a mercury vapor bulb because they're not going to move around a lot. So they don't need all their cage covered. So some people do enjoy using them, and they do work. However, I don't know. I just, I like the design of the fluorescence, the two fluorescent UVB lights. Um, but with those, you're going to need to buy a fixture. Both lights, uh, mercury vapor bulbs and tube fluorescents, are going to be need to be replaced um, depending on the brand, either every six months or every nine months. This Arcadia light will only need to be replaced once every nine, uh, eight to nine months. Um, so, it just depends on what you need and um, what your animal needs. Uh, also, these tube lights are less expensive, I found, than the 160 watt uh, mercury vapor bulb that I had. This was only like uh, $30 and the mercury vapor bulb was $60. So while the fixture was also $30 to $40, with this fluorescent, I think in the long run, I'm going to spend less money. It's not all about the money, but I just, this um, Arcadia UVB light's going to put out a consistent amount of UV radiation. And it's just more consistent. It doesn't produce a lot of heat, but that's what these two lights are for. And if he does decide to roam around the cage, I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Then he can... Uh, he'll still get some beneficial UV. So I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, 
do definitely do your own research if you want to switch it up and maybe get a mercury vapor bulb. I will say that they do get the bulb themselves get very very hot. So if you're going to get one, only use a ceramic topped light fixture like this one. It doesn't have to be a reptile brand, but it's got to be ceramic at the top. But anyway, that was that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like stuff like that, please uh, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more content, you can subscribe to become part of our Regal family. You can also share this video if anyone wants to know about lights and watch tegus. And uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or you want to see something specific. Because I love ideas and I love answering questions and I love reading comments. So, everybody have a wonderful rest of your day. See y'all.